2002's James Bond 007 Nightfire is one of my favorite games of all time, but there's a certain mission that is especially nostalgic for me. In this episode of Flashbacks, I'll be discussing the sniper mission. The mission starts with you, James Bond, infiltrating the bad guy's nuclear power plant. After knocking out a guard and stealing both his radio and his sniper rifle, you observe the main baddie doing a television interview acting like he's a real nice guy. Sure enough, though, once the interview is done, a handful of other sniper guards return to their posts, presenting our favorite British spy with an interesting situation. I still remember how awesome I felt when I picked off my first enemy sniper and heard a satisfying... But then something happened. The music changed. And all of a sudden, I heard the booms of multiple enemy snipers attempting to kill me. They said things like, Enemy spotted. And even, He's on the roof! Over the radio. Holy shit. These guys know where I am? Are they communicating? Is this descriptive, or will they call out a different location if I move? This was the first time I had ever experienced something like that in a video game, and it blew my 12-year-old mind. On top of that, this mission is hard, at least until you start to memorize all the spots where the snipers will be. But even so, if you're playing on the double O difficulty, you die quick if you get hit by one. After playing some more, I found out the snipers will indeed call out different locations. One time I was making a break for it between the cooling towers and one said, He's behind the forklift! And sure enough, there was a forklift nearby. At a few points in the mission, you will go inside buildings and the radio chatter will stop. But not before one of them remarks, Contact lost, I can't see him. About halfway through the mission, an elite squad of snipers is deployed against you. And they pretty much all come out when you're the most exposed on top of a crane. Legitimately, five or six of these guys come running across a roof while you're standing on top of a crane fully exposed with your thumb up your ass. On the double O difficulty, this is just unfair. Your options are either try to kill as many as possible while weaving back and forth in the open, or essentially jump off the tower and try not to die. If you choose the latter, you'll be met with another surprise. There are snipers on the ground too! I remember one time I tried to just shimmy across the cable, connecting the crane to the building I needed to get to without killing all the snipers, because, hey, I figured their AI probably couldn't hit me while I was on the cable, right? <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. They blasted my secret agent ass off that cable in a heartbeat. Overall, this is a really fun mission in a game that is one of my favorites. Expect to see some more mentions of Nightfire in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.